we got the LS torn down yesterday and um, we made really good progress. You can kind of see the pile over here. It's kind of the carnage. Sucker, you still don't know? Man, go ask your dad. We've got a workbench that is a mess. We've got a floor that is a mess. And I'm going to move the Grand National over closer to the welder. Yeah. But uh, when we come back, we'll uh, tear into the uh, LS, get the heads off of it, uh, get the pan off of it, and uh, go from there. So, anyways. <laughs> All right. So, actually, I'll just kind of give you a once around. Got the garage. Kind of moved around. Welding area over there, move the engine, move the Pontiac over, next to our beverage center, next to the uh, beverage center over there. Um, but we got a little more room to move around. We're shooting to get the, <clears throat> to get the um, heads off the LS, to get the oil pan off the LS, to check some numbers. Pretty sure we're dealing with a 4.8. We bought this from a guy who had a company van. He said it had 140,000 miles on it when one of his employees wrecked it. So, pretty sure we're dealing with a 4.8, but we will know for sure when we pop the uh, oil pan off. So, um, last night after we left you, uh, I came out here and kind of wire brushed. This, these LS engines just get so much stuff packed in here. And, Invariably, it seems like any little critter wants to get up here and pack nuts or make their poop up here or whatever. But uh, anyways, this is where we're at. So um, let's get the, let's get this top end off of here. So no, these are that's a ten. Maybe let's keep this close because freaking ten millimeter always. Oh, I remember there was this funny little post on Instagram, and I was like, my son just bought his first toolkit today. I took out the 10 millimeters so he knows the freaking pain. <laughs> That's the freaking truth, dude. Here. I'm gonna. Are you just gonna start it and you want me to? You just pop it. Dude. Pop it. Pop it. Ooh, that's loose. Loose. Get loose. Get loose. There's a little arrow on there. I know, I can never tell if you push the arrow out. Like the arrow it. pointing towards you means you pull it right towards you. Uh, we need a new bolt bucket because we feel the bottom on. Uh, correct. We Look what I got. We don't know what we Uh, that from somebody, but I honestly don't know who. Come on, man. You. We can't put it on the bag. Didn't buy the oil. Oh, we drained the oil last night. Yeah. That's gross. Blackest sin. I think it started like rusting or getting mm. brown. Yeah. No, it's... <laughs> There's a little rainbow of fruit flavor on the tap. So we'll see what we got here. Should just pop out of there. Come on, baby. Release. Release. And why is it coming off of there? Oh, are those knock sensors in the way? Possibly. Possibly. No. Because it just came up. It's just. Can you get your fingers under there so it doesn't go yeah. back? Diz out. Diz out. I got my fingers under it. 
Do I have to pull those knock sensors out? I believe so, because... Yeah. Yeah. We got the podium. Do you just... So I'll get these ones. Not those ones, the other ones. Need a deep well. I don't know if I got one that deep. Well, <laughs> well, well, well. Keep that 15. Oh, Where's the compactor? I've got to get my rhythm going. Where's the half-inch drive. Did you see it anywhere? Uh, I guarantee you. Oh, the half-inch drive? I, did you put it away? I put it in the spot where it goes. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. Oh, and I got this one too. So I can lose all of them. I don't know how to leave those hidden. But this bothers me though because we're already missing that half-inch drive. Oh no, it's right now. <laughs> now we got two. Alright. You good dog. Ooh. Oh, did you already do this one? Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Lightning. Can you get your fingers in there? Right there. It's like rubber grommets on it. Should just pop out. This there. one's out of there. There you go. There you go. Don't shake the water in there. Sorry. That's all right. Ain't too bad. But yeah, before we pulled this apart, I mean, it was caked. Um all up in here or whatever so we did clean it up but man it's pretty clean wouldn't you say mm -hmm. do you concur mm -hmm. yeah. all right let's pop these out of there i think these are 15s and 10s but let's get the uh valve covers off all right those are probably eight And they were eights. Ah. Are you still on that? No. No, sir. There you go, baby. Ask your daddy. Is that one not out? That is, that is clean. 140,000 miles, they're usually all gunked up and everything else, and they are in good shape. What's up? Sorry, I didn't know your phone. Oh, your phone. I was just checking what you guys were doing. Huh? Yeah. Pop them. Let it hot. Kind of happy. 
That, there is no sludge in there at all. None. Interesting. All right, so let's start over here. All right. Start over so, here. Let's start on this side. And if I turn this on, she'll start leaking. Probably. Just a little bit. That's all right. All right, so here. Yeah. Bucket. No, leave it. Whatever. There's going to be more. But I will tell you this. I think this one here. Mm -hmm. We got to let's loosen all the rest of these up. Why don't you get that uh, breeze drive? You the man. What? I said you the man. Yeah, I've just been doing the whole get a tool for your father thing for a while. No. Yeah. Absolutely, with daddy. You really want to take the pressure off of any of these rockers before you loosen them if they're under tension. Can you go? Come on, baby. Spin that. Too much. No. Just, just you're fine. Oh, fine. just need it. I have to turn. All right. Buzz all those off, but you don't need to pull the bolts out. Okay, just buzz. Right here. Mm -hmm. I think that's an eight. I'll just grab another eight. Just, nine. Uh, just leave the bolt in. Yeah. Just loosen them. And loosen them. them all the way. Oh. I don't think the rockers will come off. Oh, they might. Yeah, those won't stick together. So why don't we do this? I want to keep them in order. Right. So let's see. Can I lift that out of there yet? I don't want those things to go flying. Oh. Yeah. Did you loosen them all the way? No, I... I yeah, loose, make sure they're all loose. There you go. Okay. I believe that one's already loose. Which one? This one right here, third... Oh, no. I was going to say, I should have sworn I got them all out. Alright. I thought the vent was over here. Nope, vent comes out over here. So you can look on this one, it's the same. Oh man, you're probably right. No, no, because we're looking at it backwards. The vent was on this side, the vent's on that side. We're good. Well, I was just messing my thoughts, huh? What are these called? I don't know. Push rods. What do they do? I'm assuming push rods. Yeah, baby. All right. Ooh, is that a little rusty cruddy? I don't like that. Oh, well. Probably of course, you can run stock. You can run stock push rods. The springs, again, if you're doing them, if you're doing booze and you're messing with the cam, 
for as cheap as it is, you should do the double springs. But anyways, all right. So let's, that should be a 15 down low. Here, see if that's it. Uh, down low. Down low for you. Right here. And you want to probably use the other end. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Oop. Don't move. That's the right way, ain't it? Yeah. Oh, they're they are torqued on there. So, yeah, it's gonna be fun. <laughs> Hold on. I gotta stop this wheel from moving. Hold on. There you go. <sighs> Man, is it fun to not be eight in the Yeah. That's, that's, um, here. Oh, God, big dog. Here. Here. I'll kind of maybe do it this way so your back is. Well, I'm doing it so the wheels stop. Did you already get this one? Yes, I did. Okay, here, stand over here. Oh, right. And stand right here. Yeah. There's a torque sequence. I don't know if there's a untorque, detorque sequence. If there is, I'm not following it. Okay. I've seen these guys reuse. Uh, you probably heard this a hundred times if you uh, have been around LSs, but these are, um, oh, what do they call them? Torque. It smells like fish. <laughs> God, I can't even think of the name of it right now. Mm -hmm. I'll probably hit you in about five minutes. Yeah, I know. But once you torque these down, they stretch so that you can only torque them once. Guys reuse these bolts all the time. And, you know, they talk about, you know, boosted applications, everything else. Torque, stress. God, it's gonna drive me nuts. But anyways, so they reuse them again. I'm not, I'm gonna put in just ARP rod studs, or excuse me, ARP head studs. I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna even take the bottom end apart, but there you go, buddy. Am I taking off these, or do you want me to take off these? Oh, uh, no problem. Torque yield. That's what they're called. There you go. You want me to leave one on? Nope. We're, uh, we're hitting. Wow, here, watch yourself. There we go. Hey, another hole. Yeah. All right. Torque yield bolts. Yeah, that reminds Pull off the good. others. Pull off the others. Is there ones in the back? Here, stand here. Oh, okay. Um. It smells like a fishing trip. <laughs> oh, just leave them there. I didn't know what to do Torque yield. So anyways, I'm not really using them. Um, here, do the, do the five in there. Whether I pull the main caps and everything else, it remains to be seen. This, this engine looks so clean. I just don't think I'm gonna mess with it. Okay. All right. So, the first kind of way to tell if this is a 4.8 or a 5.3 is if it's flat top pistons. The 5.3 is gonna have dish, pish, dish pistons. And the um, 4.8 or flat top. So, we shall see. Let us move here. All right. And they are 
flat top. Ooh, what's that garbage in there? Uh, that might be from our I cleaning think, last night. Yeah. Hey, can you do me a favor? Yeah, wait. Slide that, uh, this one. Yeah, slide that, um, push it towards the back. There you go. Look it out. Take that rag and lay that rag down. Yeah. This is a multi-layer gasket. GM is a really good one. That's what we're gonna end up putting on. We'll put on a, G, a stock GM gasket. Yeah, right. I think it's a LS6. What'd you say the last top was? 4.8? Yep. That's what he told us it was. Yeah. And quite frankly, that's what I was expecting anyway. So not that that's the be all end all, but it's pretty close. <laughs> so I bet you last night that exhaust, you know what? That exhaust valve was open because we had to turn it over. Oh, yeah, you're right. Pretty sure it was that one. Mm -hmm. So that's disgusting. What did the top of these look like? Not, not too bad. One, two, six, one, two, six, one, two, six, one, two, six. Yeah. One other 126 minutes. Yeah. I don't think that's what it means, but but look at how small that bore is. That's small. That's small. Compared to like uh because that's a three what is it three eight seven five? The bore as opposed to a four inch bore. Oh yeah, uh three point two in uh, I think it's 3.2. No, it's not that small. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was either 3.2 or 3.7. I can't remember. Let me get a tape on here. Oh, Doesn't matter. I got a micrometer over there. I want to keep tearing it down. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what. I was a little on the fence about grabbing a 4.8 anyways. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's just a part of the country we're in. Man, a decent 5.3 is 1500 bucks. I know. So, you know, when you're figuring about half of that for a 4.8, and this being as clean as it is, what else, man? Yummy. I'm back in that. Yeah, I was going to say we'll probably get that. Here, here. let's just do this. I don't want this. Yeah, it's about to water say. jacket. That's a water jacket, so that's a cooling jacket there. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. On Let's pull out these lifters too while we're here. Should be a 10 millimeter. <laughs> what? A 10 millimeter. What did, what did that um, post say? Yeah. <laughs> uh, son just got a new tool kit, took away the 10 millimeters, so, so uh, he ran out of pain <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> Where's the. I'm compact for you. Take that. You. So, if you spin these in over, it kicks the. These are roller lifters, and it'll kick them up into these trays. Uh, and it didn't. Kick what? It should kick these guys up into this tray and they should all pull out together. They're not. Ooh, a little bit of rusty yucks in there. A plastic? Yeah. It is? They should be stuck in there. And they're not. Here, push that down. See if those will clip over that. Nope. Of course, mine already spun a little bit. Oh, I got one. I popped it up a lot. Yeah. A little bit. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, quail. Oh, quail. What next? All right, I'm going to pull those lifters out of there. 
See, I'm a little concerned about this though. Is that rust in that lifter? If it means water's getting in. You know? Well, a little bit of water got in there. I see this little water should just turn it. Yeah. I do not like that. <laughs> oh, no. Now, with your regular flat tappet rollers, these guys would seat to the cam, but these are roller lifters, a little different story. Plus, what I've seen some of these, some, some people do with reusing stuff, I'm not too concerned. The only issue was that one. Put it right there? Yeah. It was the far one. It was. There's like rust around it too. Here's what will probably end up happening. Because everybody does a budget build, I'll probably end up spending a little more money than most. That's aluminum. Hyper to tactic. Hyper. Hyper. I don't know, man. To tactic. Well, what they do is they basically take powdered aluminum, put it under pressure, and they make a uh, pit hmm. Alright, you want to do another sign of black? You supposed to say, yeah, daddy. Yeah, daddy. Ask you, daddy. And we might get some water running out of here, too. Actually, while we got this up, let me see if I've got something to pull that. We can drain that off. Because it'll get messy. Actually, I'm going to take this over there. I thought this was interesting too. So if you kind of look in that cylinder head, I don't know if you can see that, but um, you can kind of see the fuel pattern from the fuel injectors spraying in there. This is a very clean engine. Of course, it's only got 140,000 miles on it, which in the world of the LS is not much. So possibly which one oh, no this see two. if you grab these you can kind of wiggle just a little like that one's not under load that one's just starting to go under load see oh uh, yeah that was why and you're tightening <laughs> yeah uh, i'm not good with my left and right yeah you ain't You ain't, dog. Can you please loosen that one? Yeah. Right. That's okay. The other upgrade that we're gonna do on this is on these rockers. These rockers are full in here of needle bearings. So if one of these lets go, it scatters needle bearings completely through the whole engine. Completely ruined. Yeah, it pretty much does. So they've got uh, like trunnion upgrades that you can put in there. They've got like a they've got bra like a brass upgrade as well. I don't know what we're gonna do, but we're gonna press these out of there. And you use the stock rocker arm, but then you end up putting a different trunnion in there, so. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. Gort head, flip her on over, set it right here. Just kind of flip it and set it. Those springs won't come out? No. Huh. Man, look at that. That is a clean piece. We didn't even have to tear it down, man. We could have just ran it. Just thrown boost at it. Ran it. Radio edit. <laughs> Man, take that. 
Did you guys hear that car horn? <laughs> Is that the train? <laughs> Is that the train? <laughs> I'll give you a train. <laughs> They've got, you can actually, guys reuse these too, man. I'm not, I'm a little old school for that, but guys do it all the time. It's amazing to me what you can actually get away with with this. Yeah. What you buying that fuck? Is that a toenail? <laughs> oh, don't drop. You freaking me out, boy. Is what a toenail? There was something on top of there. <laughs> How would a toenail be in there? I don't know. It looked like a toenail, man. like an old just holds in there. Oh, good job. You grab it? Yeah. You grab it. Yeah. <laughs> and I never understood. So there's literally two tapped screws in there, or two tapped holes, and one screw. And they only put one in there. Uh, a lot of the aftermarket pickups that you pick up... We'll have two. We'll have two, yeah. So I, I don't know. The engineers just thought, oh, we only need one. For as many vehicles as they make, though, that probably saves them like seven million dollars a year. I'm exaggerating. All right, let's put this down here for now. All right. And we are officially down to the block. Yeah. 482. Mm -mm. I thought it was on the front. There's a casting number. Is it that right there? 225? No. That's on a piston. Right there? Let me see. 1, 2, 2, 5, no. 3, 4, 8, 2. That is it. 1, 2, 5. But every time I've seen it, it's been this. And this is a 3.8. There it is, but it's always been on the throne. 1, 2, 5, 5, not 1, 2, 2, 5. Thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah, you had the glasses. Yeah. All right. So there we are. We're, we are down. So we're going to get this cleaned up. We're probably going to kind of figure out what we're going to do with this. But this thing is clean. I'm pretty impressed. You? Yeah. yeah. For being in a crash and everything else. And well, yeah, you would think that it would just be completely abused. Yeah. And this thing is super clean. I mean, the guy did say that he treated it really well. And I everything know. Else and Beats the it's not out of like a straight up junkyard pole. So. All right. Still have the seatbelt though. Yeah, that was classic junkyard work. All right. So. I appreciate it. All right. Work. All right. Camera. So let's get this cleaned up a little bit more and go from there.